All right, so I'm about halfway, or not even halfway actually, about a third of the way there. Uh, this is residential area, 30 miles per hour. I wish I can go be going the 22, but I just don't have the battery anymore. So I think I go like 16, 15, probably with the weight 14, I would think. But yeah. So before I have to go up the next one, I'll tell you guys why I'm um, I'm a Cali boy at heart. The open ocean, the road, driving with my windows down, the long commute, it's a good time for me to clear my head. And when I sweat everything out like this uh, for uh, the commute, I think it helps me focus. So this is kind of why I'm doing it. All right, I gotta switch. See you, VJ. Thanks. Burnout. It's a word that's thrown around a lot in agencies. And I'm not sure people truly understand the concept because burning out isn't just about yourself. See, I think fundamentally what people just don't understand about an agency is there's a reason why there's different divisions and different leaders and why everybody needs to do their own part really, really well. Um, and I'm going to speak now for a little bit of a bigger company than a smaller company because if you really have an agency of like five people, well, you're going to have to wear multiple hats. I'm going to share a little bit of a personal story that I don't think I've shared with anyone, but I think it's highly relevant to today's conversation what I want to get through. This is something that I see managers mess up a lot, which is they feel like their duty is to do everybody's work and they just need to work extra hard than everybody else. Otherwise, it won't get done. See, I think that right there is a dangerous thought because, well, actually, let me tell you why it's a dangerous thought. So I'm going to talk about the night that, uh, or the week leading up to the night that I got hospitalized, um, which was we were preparing for a pitch and there was a couple other things going on, but for this pitch, it was potentially going to be the largest client in our department and... I wanted to do everything possible. See, I think managers forget that if they're not there, well, who's going to manage and lead the team? I think the higher you get up, you take on a lot of the stress and responsibilities of, I gotta run this entire department, which means I gotta put my hands on everything. And there's a fine line and fine difference between micromanaging and managing. And most people, and I'm talking like 95% of people, lie in this micromanaging part and the 5% of people get it. Because see, I had the experience of leading a certain division, but because I was hospitalized, other people had to pick up the slack that was not their responsibilities. And that's not fair to the entire agency. See, when I was talking about all these departments and all these different divisions and all these people with responsibilities, if one person is out of sync, well, it's like a machine. It doesn't work. And I wanted to make this vlog today just to show you guys kind of the extreme of what happened, which was to me, I was literally working, got hospitalized the next day and literally had to tell my doctor, no, I cannot take the time off because we have a pitch. I need to fly out and I need to prepare for it. The day before the flight, literally the day before the flight, I stayed into the office until like 4 a.m. preparing a bunch of stuff. On top of, on top of all the other hospitalization stuff, a lot of people starting in the industry feel like they have to put themselves in this situation. They have to raise their hand and say, no, 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 I got, I'll do this. And trust me, I get it. I get it. This industry pays shit. I don't want to sell you this utopia. I want to send you reality. And the reality is that it's okay to work that hard but don't hospitalize yourself. Remember if you're a manager, it's not just you having a title. 
you have other people that count on you. And your health is so important. You need to be there. You need to be not burned out. You need to be there for their team. So, I just wanted to say that today. Um, could have interjected more clips, but... Shit, I guess this got a little serious, didn't it? Um, but yeah. I, I, I just... The responsibility and honor it is to manage a team is something that I'll never take for granted. And it's something that I treasure. And it's something that I genuinely love. So other people in that situation, I hope you guys are able to take a little bit of a macro perspective. Um, realize you need to be there for your team. It's your responsibility. You know, make sure your health is there.